Captain Lee. No, 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 you didn't come yet. They're fighting over a guy. But they aren't the only ones whose sexual partner has been sleeping around. The play is about how HIV spreads through risky sexual behaviour. But it's too late for Brenda Masango. She caught HIV when she was in the age group considered most at risk, young women under 25 years old. Researchers believe that's because they often date men much older who've had more exposure to the virus. She was 17 and sleeping with a 25-year-old. Their relationship was unequal. She didn't demand he use a condom nor disclose his HIV status. She says older men prey on young women, offering gifts, money, relief from poverty. African men cannot give you that well there. They don't sleep with you. They'll tell you that I don't pay a horse, then don't drive it. I have to pay for a horse, then drive it. This young woman, I think they're doing it because they, they need things. And in my community, I think we are so poor, so we rely on men. Once the fight is over, the health worker reveals they're all HIV positive. It's about the consequences of everyday actions. Masango believes that involving young people and making the HIV AIDS awareness message entertaining is the most effective way of catching and holding their attention. That this is far better than a lecture in a school hall. If I am positive. Timbisele Kanyele wrote it. The 25-year-old is also HIV positive. She's counselled by Masango to help her cope with stigmatisation and wishes health workers were also better educated. They never gave me the counselling that I need for so that I can be able to be strong enough to start the treatment. So for me it was difficult for me to go and take the treatment in the clinic as well because I was like, people are going to laugh at me. These are the people the safe sex message must get through to. But it's about far more than using condoms. As long as there's poverty and an imbalance of power in sexual relationships, young women will always be vulnerable. Tanya Page, Al Jazeera, Shoshanguve, South Africa.